What about there in YouTube land? It's me, your boy, 87 Show Enough. And this happy person is Christopher Rodriguez. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, today, opposed to what everyone else was thinking, I decided to run plants. And uh, even though my boys were like, yo, you should run Dark Worlds, and they did. They flopped. I didn't. Uh, went X2. Surprisingly, I don't care if people call me net decker or not, you can play the deck and the deck does what it does or you have to be a good player. But I played Billy's exact list. Didn't change anything in the main board. Big up to Billy, by the way. Billy Break. Gonna talk to you soon. Yes, you are. You are that man. Thank you very much for the deck list. Uh, and all I did was change the sideboard. I left the, the extra deck exactly the same. The deck is amazing. Flows great. Uh, I didn't play any dualities. Literally card for card verbatim uh, Billy's list. And uh, I had some secret text today if I was to run into Dark Horse. I was just about to ask you that. Like, everybody today has had a lot of secret texts. I've seen Gemini Imps. I've seen the little leeching little light card. Uh, I have saw Miracle Dig. By the way, that was my idea, YouTube. <laughs> of course, Keith and his judgeliness. Yeah. All right, well, this is what I cited, and it, it worked great for me all day. Uh, I cited the third mystical. 2DD Crows. Duh, duh, duh. My secret tech of the day. Curse Seal, Forbidden Spell. Pro motherfucking card. This card right here, if you play it against Dark Worlds, you win. They don't they, they don't bring it back. They, they don't get it back. Not only does that, it doesn't get removed from the deck like Chain Disappearance. It stays there, so it's a dead draw. So if you hit a Mystical, if you hit a Duality in any other deck, you say, for instance, you can stop Heavy with it, but that's nothing. But against Dark Worlds, in the mirror match, it's amazing, or even when you're playing it, because you basically just stop. They can't do anything. They can't have their field spell card. They gain all the momentum off of that. And the same with Drag Down to the Grave. It doesn't allow them to disrupt anything and just leaves them sitting there. You just beat away. Really, really good for a lot of decks that play a lot, of, a lot of spell cards and zero traps and very little monsters. I know uh, some fish monarchs play like zero traps. Maybe the trap does shoot and a lot of spell cards. And this card definitely flows. A lot of people, he's a very brilliant person to think of this. You guys need to give him credit. Uh, it also worked, by the way. For anybody who also didn't realize, this works great against Gravekeepers. They play, they play Triple Wonder One, they play uh, Triple Necro Valley, they play True. Triple Duality. Some of them play MSTs, you know what I'm saying? You hit their steel, it slows down the deck so much. Props to my boy Johnny Nagel, by the way, who is a Gravekeeper player. Yeah. And uh, he made me realize how much that card hurts his deck. Uh, I spoke to Johnny Nagel several times on Skype. John, Johnny Nagel right here. The the pro also Johnny Nagel. Come here, come here Johnny. Two seconds. Get, get, get into this. This, this, my boy Johnny Nagel right here, aka up, the up, super up. pro player, uh, made me realize house. how much this hurts against GKs also. Like I said, he made me realize that, yo, if you hit a steal, you hit a necro value, or duality, of course. Uh, too close for us, because it was good, but I, I didn't want to play any great keepers. When I was testing with it, it worked great against them in Dark World. Two weeks in the light, I won a match today because of this card. He came with this, right? If you're not hip to this card, you should be. This is one of those cards that I was talking about. A lot of people are teching. I'll, uh, I'll, later today, I'll give you my other segment, which is cards to look for in the next format. This is definitely one of those cards you need to look for. Two bottomers. Because I felt if you did run into Dark Worlds, that this card is great. You really don't want them to have their, their cards in the graveyard. And it gets rid of Venus, too, which is another amazing thing. It, it, it works so well against fairies. Not to mention, like, anti-meta, anything else. Plants, you really never see it coming, because they don't really play plants. Anymore. Like T Kings, all the other stuff. Now I mean, it's great, it's so unexpected. I cited it in a moment. Two Fossil Diamonds. These guys hold stuff down. down. They shake hands and play Yu Gi Oh! They are great. What the fuck? <laughs> These guys are amazing. Last but not least, the third T King. Uh, you guys already know this deck is. I don't even show Yeah, they can already it. look at that. Let, let's let's get into some some better questions. What was your worst matchup? And I already know the answer, but I want you to go ahead and tell them. Uh, <laughs> my worst matchup. I'm trying to think. Honestly, the only reason why I lost today was to plant mirror match, and it's because really they outnutted me. They straight outdrew me. My buddy Spicer, big ups to Ryan. He uh, lone fire, reborn, and dust shoot me, and you can't do nothing to that. And then uh. I also, what else did I lose to? I lost to another plant that there's nothing you can really do about it sometimes to my own misplay. Jo Joji Orlando, my boy, he told me to just keep my head up for the rest of the day and I still want to go next two, which is great. It's not fantastic, but hopefully tomorrow I'll uh, day two, well obviously I'll day two, but hopefully I'll top 32 and uh, do something big. Well, that's what everybody's praying for, bro, especially me, you know. 
But, Big ups, Keith, man. I appreciate you giving me the interview. Everybody watching this YouTube channel, you should be privileged to get information from this man right here. Cause he's awesome. Yo, Keith, it's good talking to you, man. Appreciate the interview, guys. No problem, yo. All right, guys. It's 87 showing up. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, homie. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.